default values for parameters. You, when we define a function, you can specify a default value for each of the last parameters. This value will be used if the corresponding argument is left blank when calling to the function. We know that whenever we call a function, then we pass arguments and those argument values will be accepted, will be received by the respective formal parameters. So, some parameters may have some default value. Obviously, we will be defining or allocating these values from the last parameters. Okay. I, I shall show you one C++ code for the better understanding. Now, the thing is that whenever we are calling that very particular function, we shall have to pass values for those parameters which are not having any default value. But for those parameters which are having the default values, for them the value passing is optional for us. We may or may not pass the values. This is done by using the assignment operator and assigning values for the arguments in the function definition. If a value for that parameter is not passed, when the function is called, then the default value given value is used. But if a value is specified, this default value is ignored and passed value will be used accordingly. So, let us go for one coding for the better understanding. See, here there is a function. The name of the function is sum which returns one integer. It is having two input parameters. So, parameter number 1 is a and parameter number 2 is b. From the last we have just having only the b this particular parameter with the default value 20. So, now we are doing this a plus b result is getting obtained result is the local variable within this particular function sum and the result is getting returned. So, the logic of this function is very simple. Now, you see as this a is having no default value. So, whenever I shall be calling this function sum, I must be passing value for a. So, the argument will be passed for the first parameter. But as this b is having the value 20, so the second argument may or may not be passed. If we pass the second argument, then the second argument's value will override this default value that is 20. If we do not pass the second argument, then the default value 20 will be accepted. So, now let us see this one int a is equal to 100, int b is equal to 200, int result it is uninitialized. I am passing the both a and b. So, this 100 will be going to a and 200 will be going to b. So, the default value 20 will be ignored here. And now the sum will be obtained and that will be put onto the result and result is getting printed. But here I am passing this a only not b. So, what will happen this 100 will be passed and as b is having the default value 20. So, 120 will be coming into the consideration for the execution of the function body sum. So, accordingly the sum will be obtained and that will be put in the result and that will be printed accordingly. So, let us go for the practical demonstration where we shall type this code, we shall compile it, run it and we shall show you that how the outputs are coming. So, please watch the demonstration coming next. At first we are considering the function sum. So, int is the return type argument for some sum function and int a is the first input argument and another one is your int b. But this int b is having some default value. So, that is is equal to 20. So, this b is having a default value, this parameter is having a default value of 20. So, int result is the local variable within the sum function result is equal to a plus b return result. So, now from the main function this particular sum function will be called. So, a is equal to 100, b is equal to 200 int result. So, whenever we are passing this 100 and 200 through a and b, to the sum function. So, sum function will do the sum and it will perform the addition of 30 as result and that will be assigned to result and that will be returned. So, the return argument will be dumped here onto the variable result. So, when this result is going to get printed, so we are expecting that it is go on, it, it will just print 300 as the output because we know that 100 plus 200, 300 will be the return type argument and that will be assigned to the 
respective variable result here. Okay. Now, see. In this case, we are passing only one argument. We are passing only one argument. Other argument, we are not passing. So, here we are passing only 100 through A and other argument, we are not passing. So, the default value, which is 20, will be now coming into the action. So, now this 100 plus 20, 120 will be the sum that will be dumped onto the variable result and the 120 will be returned and that will be coming to the variable result and result is going to get printed. So, in the first sum, the sum will be 300. In the second case, when we are calling the sum with one parameter with one argument that is A with the value 100. So, the second parameter, the second argument will be taking the default value 20. So, the total value will become 120 in this way. So, thus we are getting this proper explanation why these outputs are 300 and 120 when you are calling the function with two arguments and one argument respectively. Thanks for watching this video.